Hey everyone, it's Mark with Launchpad B, and I'm coming in today with another ClipChamp.com tutorial. Now, I received a comment a couple days ago from a user called Hatplace150, and he's asking me, how do you make fire effects on ClipChamp, please? Now, what I'm thinking is that he wants to do a, uh, I'm thinking a fire overlay on top of. So the video I'm gonna do today uh, will kind of walk you through how to find green screen footage that you can then use on ClipChamp.com and being that I'm always trying to be cost effective, this will be a cost effective way to do it. So I'll show you a couple of options. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and launch clipchamp.com. Now we're gonna be using the clip that I have been using for a long time. Fire doesn't really match with this, but we're gonna do it anyways. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go under where it says stock video. Now know that this stuff is not free if you get it from ClipChamp. If you have a subscription, it is included. Um, but if you're looking to do a one-time purchase, um, might not be an option, but they do have stuff in ClipChamp. So if I go ahead under the library and I'm just gonna type in flame and then comma green screen to see what we've got. And um, I'll tell you, I've, I've done this check already. There's not a lot of options in here. I mean, I guess we can uh, use this lady dancing because I guess her dancing is fire. And then once you import your green screen footage, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tap on it. And at the top, we're gonna select filters and we're going to select the filter that's listed as green screen. Boom, there we go. So now we have this lady. I don't know why she comes up with fire, but she is dancing around. That's one option. Unfortunately, there's no fire here, um, so. There's other stuff you can use now. Continuing on, I went ahead and continued looking around at other options that we've got for fire, and I actually um, went to one of my vendors. Now, I do have an account with Storyblocks. Um, I do pay them a significant amount of money to have an annual contract with them. So we're gonna go ahead and log into our account. So now when we get to Storyblocks, um, I use a lot of footage from here. So if I just type in green screen, uh, we'll see what kind of stuff there's available. And again, this video is gonna be geared more towards anybody looking at any kind of green screen footage. So there is a lot of stuff in here that is very useful. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of fire. I mean, this this is kind of cool. You know, let me go ahead and just download this here just so we can see what it looks like. There's not a lot here. I mean, I got like these embers here. I guess that is kind of cool. Let me go ahead and download the 4K version since I'm working on a 4K um, video clip here. So once again, we're just gonna go ahead and drop it into the timeline. There we go. This is absolutely free because it's my own footage. I didn't, I don't have to purchase it from ClipChamp. And again, select it, go to filters, and we are going to select green screen. Boom, there we go. And I am basically talking with, I guess embers flowing in front of me. Pretty cool. Uh, if we do the sparkly one, let's go ahead and give that one a shot. Actually, this one looks like it already has the uh, background removed. And again, um, but going back to the fire, I went ahead and went to YouTube and I did a search for fire green screen videos. And uh, here's what we came up with. This one here says HD. If you click on that, um, you will get an ad. Now, besides that, we are gonna get the footage that we need. And um, the thing that's cool here is that they actually give you the ability to download it directly from their site. So if you look here, there's a link that you can use to download it. Now, if you decide to borrow somebody's footage, make sure you give them a like or a thumbs up on your account. And if you want to, you can also subscribe, but just show them some kind of love for giving this to you. So now we're gonna go ahead and select the link here that they give us, uh, and it's gonna take us to a site where we can download. Now here, be very wary, because on sites like theirs, there's a lot of different things that you're gonna click on that you're gonna download things that are not the fire you're looking for. So if you scroll down, like this is here for some kind of an extension, this is for some kind of a bill of sale, some kind of transfer stuff. There's, let's start here to install some kind of weird browser. We get down here where it has this download button. It doesn't really look like it's a correct button. We're gonna select that. That is how you download the correct file. So again, be very careful when you're working with stuff like this. I will not accept responsibility if you install ransomware onto your computer and then you get locked out by Russian hackers. So now that we've downloaded it, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to ClipChamp and we're gonna import the footage. Now, I downloaded the entire intro and everything. I don't know why, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in here because it's easier to find it this way. Okay, with the file loaded now, I'm gonna go ahead and import it. And uh, we do have an intro here that comes in with it for some reason. We're gonna go ahead and just eliminate that. We're gonna clip, cut that out. We're gonna delete what we don't need 
and we now have our fire. And at the end we have a subscribe. So again, we're just gonna get what we need, trim out the rest. And if you wanted to, you could stretch this out. You could repeat it however you want. So now we're gonna click on that. We're gonna go to the filters and we're gonna go to the green screen. So go ahead and select your green screen. And there you go. And now we have fires in front of me, right? Pretty cool. Um, so you do have the ability to transform, play with it. I believe we can knock out the opacity to make it a little bit more transparent if you wanted to be able to see through it. Um, so there's some different options you can play with there. But in a nutshell, that is how I go about finding my stock footage. I usually get all of it from Storyblocks. I purchase it. Um, if I can't find it there, then I'll look at other sites like Shutterstock or other places where I'll purchase it as well. Especially if I'm working for a client, I, I can't go onto YouTube and borrow something if I'm selling it to somebody else. But if you're doing it for your own creative purposes and you want to use YouTube, by all means, you can go ahead and do so. Like I said, just make sure you give them some thumbs up. I would also take their link and post it into the video description to give them a shout out to let them know where that footage came from. They'll appreciate you for it. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If there's anything else you guys want to learn or know about, drop me a comment and I'll be happy to do it for you.